Hello, hello everybody, welcome back. So today we've got another, um, oh, what was it called again? Another situation battle today. We've got Conspiracy Sector, I think they called it? Yeah, the Conspiracy Sector situation battle. I'm assuming this is another 0083 Stardust Memories one due to the suit compositions within it. And by that, I mean things like the, uh, the gym custom like we're using right now, or the, um, gym cannon too. This is the support types we've got on this team as well. This one came out pretty good, so I decided to go and snag this. Gym custom is not a suit that I often use, as honestly, I have not had good good luck with it really i haven't done well with it outside of this particular situation battle because uh honestly this particular situation battle really benefits it you know everything's kind of put down on a more more comparable level in terms of its equipment loadouts and whatnot plus like everything on the enemy team are all raids with the exception of their one general which is uh i think their highest cost suit honestly but it means that for the most part I'm at advantage against, like, everything. It does really make it rough, though, if you're one of the two Jim Cannon 2 players, though. I think it's Jim Cannon, right? Gun Cannon 2? Jim Cannon 2? I... It's probably actually a uh, Gun Cannon 2, not Jim Cannon 2. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to double-check that, I guess. We uh, managed to hit him with the tackle there. I kind of expected him to run in and actually try and hit me with melee, I think, which is why we did the tackle, but it got some damage in and it let an ally finish him off, so that's good. I'm now engaging the uh, most dangerous thing on the map here. That one is a Gelgug... Com I think it's Gelgug Marine Commander type, if I remember correctly. It's one that I really enjoy using. I don't take mine out enough, though. But yeah, I, I do really enjoy using it normally. I haven't gotten to play with it here in this context, though. In the situation battle, I mean. Yeah, I really love these, though. I've brought this up before with past situation battles, but I just love having these proper themed engagements where we've got the cannon suits fighting each other from the two sides. I think that's super cool. And we get to recreate some some really neat battles from Gundam history, if we will. Um, not that I can explain to you what this one's significance was, because I have not watched Sardis Memories yet. Always a failing on my part. Yeah, this gym rifle's really interesting, though. As you can see there, it's got burst fire, or rapid fire, essentially. If you push the trigger, it fires burst, hold the trigger down, and it just continuous fires. Continuous fire has widespread on it, but the burst fire has pretty condensed groupings for it. It makes it really good for those long distance, or really good, really good. I think really good would be a beam rifle for long distance shots in most cases. But compared to other like ballistics rifles, machine gun type things, it does make it compared to well compared to itself, really. Yeah, I guess compared to some of the other machine guns. Anyway, the burst fire has tight groupings, so you can do those long shots with it and just fire and burst versus when things get close to you you can just hold the trigger down it's an interesting rifle it's damage i find is a little bit low normally but since everything in this mission are all raids for the most part that's not as much of an issue i hurt everything really good so that's really cool we're just waiting for everybody else to spawn in at this point as you've seen plenty of times before it's kind of not a good idea to just jump in here by myself, but now that we've got other people with us, we can spawn back almost full force and mount a proper counteroffensive, doing some damage where I can. Everybody's kind of hiding out as they should be behind this piece of cover here, but I just got hit in the side, actually. They took my shield, it looks like, accidentally scoped in there. That could have been a lot worse than it was, but we're doing our damage um, are we going to start closing in? We should, because as you can see here, he got out of range of my head Vulcan, so now my ability to progress is uh, not as good. I'm trying to be careful. There he goes. He wasted that shot. I saw him charging the beam rifle earlier, so we were trying to be careful, trying not to get hit by that, but we got that kill, so we're moving on to next target. Using that beam, uh, sorry, the gym rifle. You can see the gym rifle has good range. The fun thing with this one, swapping between Vulcans and rifle, they both 
reload pretty quickly, so you can get near continuous damage off of rifle into head Vulcans into rifle doing it like that. But of course, the Vulcans require you to be a little bit closer than the rifle does. Rifle's actually got really good range on it. And then, of course, if you can manage it, getting in with head with the not the head Vulcan, sorry, the beam saber gets some great damage. You can stun with the gym machine, the gym rifle. I don't remember how many shots it is though, so it's one of those things where it's like when I see them stagger, I go, okay, there we go, now I can get in. But yeah, as you can see there, we can finish things off pretty well with the machine gun when we have the opportunity. And I do, to be fair, find it easier to get close with melee in space. Because people mess up their spacing all the time and don't know when to tackle anyway. Or, as I think I mentioned, I think I mentioned this in another video, you just go aim at their feet, and then with the upper portion of your neutral swing, clip them with that. That always works wonders, too. Normally, if they try to tackle at that point, it goes over your head or something anyway, and it's a really good approach method for melee. But uh, we're just waiting to get back to the front lines now. Pe everyone's doing pretty... Well, okay. Everyone was doing pretty okay, and now they're starting to drop. So I'm a little bit worried about what the battlefront's going to look like when I finally get there. Looks like the two guys are are doing okay. They're staying alive. There goes number two. There goes number two. Yeah, there we go. There goes number two. Uh, now we're in trouble, because we're one of two people on the map. So we probably should have not kept pushing like this. Because I think we're still getting support from our one other guy. Well, the other two supports are in now, but uh, we've kind of overextended at this point. You know, I think I just noticed, I think the carrier is different than normal for this map. I don't think that's the standard um, carrier th for, the, for the base. That's fascinating. I wish I could go investigate that now. Yeah, look at that. Those look like two different... For the Federation and Xeon forces, it looks like they've got two different... That's really cool. I hope I'm actually correct about that, because I've never noticed that before. I don't think we're going to get another chance to get a good look at it, though, because we're down to one minute left, and uh, unless we manage to push them all the way back to their base again, like... That's so cool. Um, anyways, we're engaging with the general again, not my prime target. But ultimately, we can still do good damage against it. And we blindsided him with those melee swings. So we were able to get some good damage and finish him off there. Moving on to other targets to try and relieve some pressure on... I think that's number two there. I don't think we're going to be able to do enough, unfortunately. But we did get the downswing on one, so that's at least something. Looks like we drew attention from the other guy? I'm not sure why they didn't just finish him off. There he goes. One of their allies must have... Must have known one of their allies had him, but we were able to juke this guy, keep the damage away from us. Ally finished him off, so that's pretty awesome. We're going to turn around. Oh, never mind. I was going to say we're going to turn around and get some damage on him to try and wipe him out, but allies got him before we got a chance to really do much of anything at all. That's good. So we uh, wiped the enemy team again before the end. And that's going to do it, though. Ooh, looks like our ally almost got got tackled there. You can see he had the saber drawn, but the tackle was uh, probably too early, if I had to hazard a guess. But yeah, that's that's that uh, that's that mission completed. I I really like these situation battles. I've said that like three times already in this video alone. But you know, there it is. It's, it's, it, they're fun. And it's a good opportunity, in, in this case, it was a really good opportunity to take the gym custom out and have some fun with it. I've definitely used it to decent effect before, but that was a while ago at this point. I haven't used it recently. I don't know how it still holds up. I enjoy that comboing, though, between the two, rif the, the rifle and the head Vulcans like that. Getting those long to mid-range shots with the rifle and then closing with the head Vulcans. It's a fun little swap between the two of them just constant machine gun fire is enjoyable but anyway that'll do it for that video for today thanks for tuning in and i'll see you next time